What's up, guys? Lost Knowledge Productions. So I'm being introduced today. Uh, yeah, go, go ahead and try to say that. By Israel Adesanya. Very good. Israel Adesanya. Yeah. Adesanya, UFC highlights, HD. So what were you saying about this dude? Um, so he just recently he won a interim title, and you don't watch UFC, so... Um, well, I mean, so, I watch UFC, but I'm not like a big yeah. hardcore, like, oh, I know about this, this, and this. So uh, say, uh, say you're a champion. Um, you get hurt during training camp or whatever, um, and, and you're going to be out. Say you blew your knee out, you tore your ACL and meniscus. Right. You're going to be out for six months at least. Um, what, th- what the UFC does, and they do it a lot, people don't really like it, but they'll make an interim belt, um, which is like a temporary belt. Um, and all it does is basically, it's kind of hard to explain, but it basically guarantees, I say guarantee you, but that's not the case. But it basically gives you a fight with the champion. Right. So you're like the co-champion. When he's better, then y'all are supposed to fight. So these two guys that fight, whoever wins that fight, this dude that's been injured gets to fight that guy. Correct. Okay. Um, But basically, it's it's for the the company, the UFC, to make more money. Because they can bill it as a title fight. Yeah. Even though their champion's hurt, they can say, hey, this is for a interim title. So more people will watch it just because it's a title fight. Um, but he just fought a guy named Kelvin Gaslam and uh, won. It was a very good fight. A lot of people are saying best title fight ever. Really? Um, this Israel Adesanya dude. Um, he's, I think, Nigerian. Um, his parents wanted a better life for him, so they moved to New Zealand. Um, and he grew up in New Zealand, so he kind of has like that fan base. But uh, he has a bunch of kickboxing fights, a bunch of boxing fights. And then now he's coming to the UFC and like trying to do MMA. So this is just like a highlights of... Of kind of his career. Well, let's watch Israel Adesanya. His uh, his nickname is the Last Style Bender. The Last Style Bender. I'm you about know, to see. You know what that's a reference to? Uh, no. Uh, your son might. Uh, Airbender. It's an anime. Um, it's like this guy that he's he's a very nerdy guy. Israel Adesanya is. He has like anime tattoos. Well, and yeah, shit. but I don't think I want to fuck with him though. And I don't yeah, even no, know the dude would. yet. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Nice wrong button. Let me fix it. Thanks. All right, go ahead. B. Fighting out of Auckland, New Zealand, the way Lagos, Nigeria, Israel, the last style bender on a Every punch he's throwing is landing. He's not just like punching the punch. He's very accurate. Well, I don't think that other dude was ready for this shit. <laughs> oh, damn. Holy fuck. Already? I mean, that was. Like, this is the second round. God damn, bro. Oh, fuck, dude. The guy thought he got poked in the eye. So he got poked in the eye, all right. That's <laughs> why he's like, my elbow, my elbow. Look. Damn. Damn. And he's like, come on, come on. All right. You want some shit? Damn. Get down, bitch. Oh, damn. That knee's some nasty shit. Damn. Mr. Rogan right there. I hear Joe. Damn, that shit would fucking hurt. Knee in the guy in like face. right there. Yeah.
What's happening to that guy's knees? Hit his ass. Got hit in the head too much. I love this UFC shit, bro. These motherfuckers just start beating the fuck out of each other. There's something crazy about if you're a good basketball team, right? Like it's you're just a good basketball team. There's something about being a, a like a high level fighter like that that it makes it look like you're in the Matrix. Like no, like you're like you saw like that guy kicked. Oh and yeah, he, he, he fucking swung his back. foot around at him. And that motherfucker was Matrix. Yeah, that yeah, shit. yeah, it's crazy. It, it's something about being a high level fighter that's like way better than everybody else. That seems crazy to me. Just watching it, it seems like all the kung fu movies I grew up watching, like some Ip Man shit. Yeah, this it's is crazy. fucking real shit, though. That's the thing that makes UFC interesting is it's fucking real. Like, you got these motherfuckers you go to work with, and I'm sure I'll get some haters on here, but wrestling is real. I'm like, dude, chill the fuck out with your gas wrestling theory, okay? <laughs> it's fucking fake. They fucking they run around their little spandex. This fucking UFC shit is some real ass shit. I kind of see the argument for the wrestling stuff. Not that it's real. I mean, it's. I it, mean, it's it's an art. It's it's a format, but it's not UFC. Yeah, it's no, not exactly. Brutal, they're, they're, straight they're, up, real blood yeah, fighting. Yeah, they're athletes. Wrestlers are athletes. They're destroying their body. Like, would that. you get on the top rope and backflip off onto some dude? Would I? No, no like that's the. That, it's serious I, shit, but it's script. Like you know what I mean. I get it, but when motherfuckers tell me that it's real, do they have mustard stains on their shirt when they tell you that? No, it's ketchup because oh. it's fake blood, bro. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to see if I know what you're talking <laughs> mustard. about. Mustard. Yes, it's mustard okay. stain, dude. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyways. All right, y'all. Appreciate it. Israel Adesanya. Check him out. Y'all have a good night.